All right, guys, this one is a, I said their AC is not cooling as efficiently as it should be. They said one guy came out and said the system was undersized. Um, somebody else came out and said everything is working like it should. So let's check it out. All right, so our AC is on. I'm getting a pretty good amount of airflow from this vent. I think it's pretty close to the um, furnace. But as you can see, we've got 53 deg degree air coming out of the vents. And it's 70 in here currently. Uh, so 60, 50, we've got a 17 degree drop there. Uh, that's pretty good. I like to get closer to 20 degrees, but just walking around, um, the airflow at the vents is, is decent. It's not as good as I would like. And then this room gets a ton of sun, as you can tell. It's like 10 degrees warmer in here. And the this hardly has any air in it. So we're gonna go downstairs, check out the system. Supposedly this system is only like five years old. And she said it's just kind of struggled from day one. So she should have contacted the AC company and had them get this right. But now it's kind of past that. So you can already tell our bulb for our thermal expansion valve is just exposed, which is not good. I'm gonna rewrap that. And whatever Yahoo looked at this, didn't even put all the screws back in or retape it at least. So um, I guess that gives me one less step to take this off, but we'll get that pulled off and let you see what it looks like. For starters, I always like to just check my filters. This one clearly is almost new, so that's not an issue. Let's go ahead and pop this off and see what's going on in here. This system is too new to have problems. Looks good in there. You can see the bottom side of this coil looks fine. As new as this is, there's not really any issue with that. I just have a feeling we're not getting enough airflow, so I'm gonna see if we can adjust the fan speed on this ream furnace. All right, we got all this sealed up. There's no air coming out. It was just pouring out of this box for the evap coil uh, before. So let's check on the fan speed and see what we can do here. All right, guys, we're gonna have to troubleshoot this or see the steps on line because it bugs me to no end when people don't leave the install or operation packet in here. Because when you have to do this kind of thing, it, that would make it a lot easier. Just put it here somewhere. But no, they didn't. I found a couple of systems where they uh, they left it at the bottom of the furnace. It got all wet and nasty. Doesn't look like it's under there, so. Joy, joy, joy. All right guys, so hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna prop my phone here. All right, so see the C is calling for cool. Notice these dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we've got 1100 CFM that this furnace is currently blowing at. So there's three sets of dip switches here. Notice how all of these from the factory are down if you need to adjust your fan speed down, you can adjust these two dip switches here. If we want to go up, 
we're gonna pull this dip switch from the down position and we're gonna pull it up and notice what will happen. You see how it ramped up? So now let's count our dots here, right there. And wait for those to start over. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're up to 1200 CFM. All right, so we got our fan speed adjusted. Oh, heck yeah. We got awesome airflow. I think this is gonna help them out a ton. Way better air at the vents. So we'll see how that does. Um, that's the most fan speed we can get out of this system. So if it doesn't, we're probably gonna have to end up upgrading this furnace to a higher ton drive uh, blower. But for the most part, um, currently we've got better fan speed got more air coming out of the vents. That's it folks, we got this um, wrapped. I, I didn't have my um, foam tape that I normally would wrap this with. I found the pieces that the guy took off laying right here. So I put them back on and I just put some foil tape on it, but none of this is leaking anymore. Um, our fan is getting more uh, CFM now. We're at 1200 CFM, filter is good, coil is good. Our pressures outside on the AC are perfect. And we've got about 20 degrees of temperature drop. So I'm gonna call this one good. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, give it a like and we'll catch y'all in the next one later.